inspired everybody if you're thinking about buying a den outdoors cabin kit or you just want to see an update on the one that i purchased and built out this is the video for you if you'd like to see me fully build this uh look in the top right corner i'll link to the entire build of that video and also if you're curious as to why the hell i purchased this expensive uh a-frame cabin kit instead of building it myself from scratch I have another video that I'll show you guys uh, and I'll put that in the right corner as well. But back to what we have here, we have the finished Den Outdoors A-Frame Cabin Kit. When I purchased it, it was $21,000. Now uh, I've realized that the price has gone up to $28,000. So it's pushing $30,000 now. Um, is it worth it? Uh, stay tuned uh, in another video. We'll, we'll kind of dive in and dig into that. But uh, as you can tell, I built a deck onto mine. It adds a little bit more square footage and space so that way when you can uh when you leave you can just walk straight out and just chill out on the uh on the deck uh, i have a pretty nice view at least i like to believe um so so that'll be nice for everybody um so uh the deck was uh it was kind of really necessary for me that way when you walk out the cabin you can just walk straight out instead of diving all the way down to the floor um it is uh, i would say a significant drop so something to help you get up there and also just that way you could just walk straight out and enjoy it uh the deck was a little expensive especially with the prices of lumber they're starting to go down but they're not all the way down uh i got the black model so focusing on the exterior of the cabin one thing definitely shows is this side this is all not part of the cabin kit this is all things that i purchased uh on the right you have an airflow a uh, tool that'll actually assist with getting air in and out of the cabin so it's not too stuffy but also um, i've outfitted this cabin to allow generator power to go straight inside i'll show you guys that later um, and i will be using a, a power source that takes uh, solar for batteries or, or for lighting and all of that type of stuff but the so or the generator is so that way I can connect the AC unit that I'll be putting in here in the hot months. Um, and this uh, vent right here will also be pumping out the hot air that the AC spews out the back. So um, this was all kind of a lot of extra work. Uh, I think it's necessary. It does take away a bit from just like that smooth facade of the whole thing, but uh, you know, spray painted the metal black. I don't think it's too bad. Also, on the left-hand side, eagle-eyed viewers will also see the propane tank. Uh, I need to build a nice little black stool for it, but I have propane going down below, underneath, and I popped a hole uh, straight up, and that goes into the heater. Definitely needed that last night. It gets pretty cold out here. I'm uh, in upstate New York. Won't sh say where, because I love my privacy. Um, so it gets pretty cold up here, and the uh, heat is, is, is definitely necessary. Uh, going around the exterior, as you guys can see, I have some lighting out here that's just at night. So that way the cabin is lit up. So it looks really nice when you're coming down, uh, coming down the street and you can see the cabin, uh, have some more lighting back here, fire pit, relaxation area, really nice, uh, especially with the view of the cabin. So at night, you know, just hanging out back here with the cabin light on, it looks really nice. You can see straight in. And also, um, you know, I, I hope this is safe, but this is a, the back window is a giant, or well, the back wall is a giant window. So sometimes I like to fire out here, go inside, I can keep an eye on it. Uh, it's great ambiance, I would say. Uh, more lighting for this back area. I just wanna give you guys a shot of the cabin and all of its glory absolutely love the way that the back looks um, i'm not sure which looks better the back or the front uh so you can build something like this much cheaper than than buying it from them and having it sent out to you but be honest with yourself do you have the aesthetic capability you have the building capabilities as well as the aesthetic capabilities all right so let's dive inside off the bat, you'll see the floors. Uh, I went with the uh, premium floors. I don't know if they're vinyl or this or that. I don't really know. Um, they, they were the best floors they had in the joint. The reason being is it's such a small square footage in here that I believe that, you know, like it, it makes sense. It's not going to be too expensive. Uh, put this nice little door right here and the, I mean, chair right here. Best thing about this chair is 
it fits perfectly. So that was pretty lucky of me. Here's some shots of the inside of the cabin. Uh, it's a pretty big cabin, I would say spaciously. Uh, here's me trying to touch the top. I'm 6'2 with a pretty large wingspan. I'm nowhere close to the top. Uh, this back window is terrible. Um, it came messed up uh, like that so that you can see it has the water going into the middle of it. Uh, this does have um, warranty. So Pella is going to be actually fixing this back window for me. They came and tried to install it once, realized how off grid I really was. Uh, stuck their tail in between their legs and said they're gonna come back another day. Um, unfortunately though, they started working and then just left their work kind of half done. Kind of not cool, but I do enjoy the fact that they are kind of taking care of it. This top part of the, of the window, the top triangle, you can see kind of what it really should look like. Not all glazed and nasty like down here, but you know, really smooth up there. It would be really nice and hopefully they come back soon to fix that. So I have a double bed. It actually probably could fit a queen size bed but I got a double just to have some extra space. Again, I'm 6'2", um, and I only date tall people. So uh, this is plenty enough space. Uh, I, I think it's good. Um, the double bed fits me just fine, uh, unless you sleep completely standing straight like a madman. Um, if so, seek help. You shouldn't be building off-grid cabins. You'll probably do something weird in it. This is the front of my cabin. Uh, Again, I just absolutely love the floors that I put in. It comes with like these plywood floors. They, they, they really didn't look all that nice. Um, I thought it would be much better to have gray floors. Uh, this is the walls. Uh, between you and me, you know, not all of the pieces fit perfect. There was a lot of cutting that needed to get done. Just a little trim here, a little trim there. But for the most part, I think it looks nice. This back door or this the inside or the back of the door did get a little dark and gloomy as it was like outside while I was trying to build this thing as fast as possible. So it is a little bit darker. Uh, I tried to sand it as much as I could. Um, I don't think anyone who actually stays in the cabin is gonna notice any of that. I noticed a bunch of things in here that I, I'm not too fond of. Again, I don't think anyone you know is really gonna notice that type of stuff. Um, and over here on the right side, I have the heater. Um, I plan on having the heater up on the wall, kind of like that, above everything going on here, but for now it's on the floor. And I have just, uh, that's that Jackery supplies all the power. There's a lot of great videos on those on, on YouTube and I'll be making one in the future. It's a lot of extra stuff right here. Want to show you guys the lighting I plan on putting in here. Super simple lighting I got from Harbor Freight. Just walk in, flick it on, and flick it off. I could just stick it anywhere. So I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put it just yet. So that's why it is here. Um, I know that you might be thinking like, ah oh, man, it's kind of cramped in here. I just don't know if zooming out will look nice on the YouTubes, but I'll show you guys kind of what it really looks like in here. Kind of how much space you really have. With it at the 0 0.5, I mean, Again, I'm here at the edge, bed's over there, hand out, not too far. I know this is pretty unscientific. I'm just trying to give you guys a, a lay of the land. I like it uh, really empty in here. Just personally, this is my personal aesthetic, as minimal as possible. Let me dig into some more things that I decided to do that, do that does not come with the cabin kit. Uh, putting these flooring, putting the flooring on. I also put some trim above the flooring. To, to hide kind of the bottom. Um, I think it looks a little bit nicer. Also, this is where uh, I'm gonna be having a lot of guests in here, paying guests, hopefully, and they'll be kicking this. They'll be getting it real dirty. So if anything, I could pop that out um, and put a new one on. I also did put something on these walls. I think it was a water-based polyurethane. I chose water-based instead of the uh, regular um, like oil finish just because that is highly flammable. And this thing is just a big matchstick. It's it's all wood, like inside and out. 
So uh, let's reduce how much flammability we got going on in here. So I decided to put a uh, stain on all of it. I, th I think you could see a little bit there. Maybe I was a little too heavy handed. Um, so I decided to put a stain on both of them. And what the stain also helps with, again, um, I foresee a lot of wear and tear. Um, and if someone spills their soda, um, you know, no, no shame people that drink soda. I drink energy drinks, so whatever. Someone spills their soda on the wall, the stain or the, the polyurethane will help it like glide off rather than penetrate and stick into the wood. So I can clean the walls a lot easier. That's why I decided to go with that. Uh, let's see, what else did I put in? Um, this little piece of trim right here, connecting where the, the, two large panels it's six panels on this wall six panels on the other uh and they kind of connect right there i put a bit of trim just to kind of hide that and then i also put some trim to hide the corners and then that trim that i put on the side is also here that's where i hid this little trash can everything's tiny got to keep it tiny uh, so yeah that's where the uh put some more trim back there then again this chair fits perfectly uh, I don't know, maybe I should find an affiliate link, try to make some money if anybody wants to buy this chair to fit theirs. Again, this chair fits perfectly. Looks like it's in the way of the door. Uh, I swear it's not. Let's see. Let's go. Kind of nervous, kind of nervous. Nope. So, yeah, this is kind of like the rundown, a lay of the land. I'm going to go outside and show you guys again in 0 0.5 so you can see. Again, this thing is way more roomy than you would think. I'm a big dude. <laughs> um, uh... I, I got enough space in here. I, my arms, standing from the middle, my arms cannot touch the side. Uh, so let's show you outside again. Personally, I think the outside of the cabin is just amazing. Like I love the view of it. Uh, the all black on black standing out, um, like so broad and brawny and, and tough in like the sea of green. I think it stands out in the perfect way. Oh, let's talk about that deck again. The reason the deck isn't black, because everything has to be black. I just did the deck, so I can't uh, paint it just yet. So the deck and then this uh, stool, is there. they both are going to be painted black very soon. Um, also, with this stool that I made, you could pick it up and move it. So it doesn't have to stay there. So that way, I foresee people bringing it in the back. Oh, what is that, you ask? That is the outhouse. A lot of people have been yelling. Sorry, everybody. Uh, my uh, phone ran out of storage. I'm a little bit off the grid on my land here. Uh, so I uh, don't have my entire camera set up. Please bear with me with that. So I'm shooting off the, uh, off the uh, iPhone. Uh, hopefully it's in 4K. Now, this is what the cabin looks like from the outside in all of its glory. Um, some of you might be wondering what the hell's going on back there. Uh, they were roasting your boy on Reddit, telling me that this isn't a tiny home uh, because there is no uh, bathroom. Uh, and I, I did build a, a, a little outhouse, um, and I'm going to be shooting a video on that real soon. So uh, stay tuned. Please do subscribe for that. And the reason I'm not showing that now is because I have to continue to build it out. Also, that's not going to be an uh, outhouse. That is a bathhouse. The reason it's not an outhouse is because I am going to put a shower in it. And you cannot, uh, can't shower in an outhouse. So it's a bathhouse. And I uh, also, just marketing purposes, I think it sounds better. So this is what the cabin looks like again in all of its glory. Um, from the back looking in. Again, I really think it's, it's beautiful. Um, can you build something like this cheaper? Absolutely. Will it look this nice? I highly doubt it. Come on, people. Do you really have... The building acumen and if you do have the building acumen do you really have the aesthetic you know the aesthetics to, to, to build something like this um, and I that's that's the part that I doubt I, I think a lot of people have one or the two maybe not both I know I'm one of those people that do, do I don't have both this just the the roof all of it just black brawny tough and strong the vibe I'm going for is all black hard outside with the inside being soft with the pine um, and all white, everything kind of inside is what I'm going for. So thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to, uh, subscribe and, uh, check out my other videos on this, uh, den outdoors cabin. I think, uh, I probably have the best looking one out there. <laughs> I saw one with, uh, 
big black deck wrapped around all of it. That, that one looks really nice. So I'm kidding. I, I really don't care to have the nicest one. I just hope that uh, people like this one. So thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, definitely we'll have more content on this cabin. And most importantly, on ways that you guys can build your own cabins and make your own money with uh, tiny houses, glamping, off-grid stays, all of the good stuff. So thanks for walking with me, everybody. And be sure to keep it tiny.